Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be doing a Mark 5 tribe haul. First I must apologise for my terrible roots. I've ordered the hair dye and it should be with me um, early next week and my husband will be doing my roots for me. So all will be good but you'll just have to ignore it for now. <laughs> um, but I only got three items from this collection. It was a nice collection but there wasn't a huge amount of stuff that kind of you know spoke to me really and there's so much other stuff being released at the moment that you just can't keep up if you were to buy tons from one collection. So I'm actually wearing one of the items now, which is this lipstick. So I, I'm going to show you the lipstick, but then I'm actually going to show swatch my original one. So the lipstick I'm wearing at the moment is hot chocolate. I love this colour. It's a beautiful sort of dirty plum sort of shade. Now when I originally got this, I was so scared by this colour, I just thought I'd never be able to wear it. And this is what the new one looks like. It's so beautiful. And the packaging on this is really nice. It's got the tribal print. I apologise for my dog off and away there. She's sitting under my chair. Um, but that's what the lipstick looks like. And the packaging is kind of stripey inside. And then, you shut it. It's got the tribal on the outside. So it's really, really nice. Really, really pretty. So it's got a nice tribal pattern to it, a nice tribal theme. I do like the colours of the actual packaging on these. Really, really pretty. Very desert inspired, I feel like, with like almost the sandy coloured sort of background. And I'm going to swatch my original hot chocolate. So that's what the original one looks like. As you can see, it's quite used. I got this and like I said, I can't remember what collection it came from, but I looked at it and I just thought, I am never wearing this colour and I'm going to send it back. And then I just thought, no, do you know what? I just need to get out of my comfort zone and try other colours. And I put it on and I was like, wow, I absolutely love this colour. It so reminds me of a colour that Miss Selfridge used to do when they did makeup called Parisian Pink. It's not quite as pink, but oh, it's so beautiful. I just, oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. So I really, really love that. Let me see what finish it is. It's a satin. So it's nice and silky on the lips. And I really love it. I love it on. So that is hot chocolate. And like I said, I actually bought it as a backup because when I got that one, it sold out very quickly and I'd learned that I really loved it, but it wasn't available anymore. So I was like, I'll just wait for that to come back around and be re-promoted and it was re-promoted. So I was very excited. So that's going to go in the backup drawer and I can start wearing that one again now because I was wearing it quite a lot. And then I stopped because I thought I'm going to run out of this lipstick and I really love it. And I started to keep it kind of more special occasions and um, but now I know I can wear it <laughs> so the next lipstick is something I got because of two people on YouTube the first one is Wanna Makeup which is April and I absolutely love her channel she's amazing so you should definitely check her out she showed this one and also Macaholic and she's amazing she does all sort of MAC collections she does. She gets most of the collection. She actually works for MAC. So she actually gets a lot of the collection and she swatches it all. Sorry, I've got a little bit of vintage in my nose. But she swatches it all and she does it in daylight and in a room and she, she's amazing. I'm gonna link her channel below, but she said that she thought the Arrowhead would be great for me. And I, I didn't think about getting this, so I didn't order it with these two things. But when she showed it in her video, I commented, I really wanna get Arrowhead now. And she kind of said, oh, you're the first person I thought when I saw this lipstick because I knew you'd really like this colour. And I fuffled so long. Anyway, this one's a matte. And I've actually worn it once. But it's this beautiful, very soft, peachy sort of pink shade. And that's it there. Hopefully you can see it. It is very pale. I do have a picture on my Instagram of me wearing it. It's so beautiful. I mean, look at these colours. They're just so pretty. I'm really, really thrilled. So I'm going to put this one on in a minute, but I am going to show you the Dream Tones powder first. I think that's what it's called, is it? Gleam Tones. Gleam Tones, not Dream Tones. I've got dreams on the mind. So this is the Gleam Tones powder in Dunes at Dusk. So this is what the box looks like. The box is gorgeous. Again, it's got the striped pattern inside. It's really, really pretty. And then this is the packaging and I like it. Do you want to know why? Because it's old style Mac packaging with a nice flat top. It hasn't got, it's got the nice press button. It's, I don't like the new packaging <laughs> and it's like not beveled in at the bottom. Old style packaging. Yes. It's got a frosted lid and the pattern on the top. And it's kind of like I said, that sandy sort of color. I love that the accents on it are kind of like a neon orange and a turquoise color. 
they're so pretty just goes really well killing me not to use this powder because i got it like the collection launched and i literally ordered it straight away and got it about three or four days later and i've wanted to use it ever since but i wanted to show it in a video first because i didn't want to mess up the whole look of the powder and i've already got some of the shades kind of mixed in a little bit but this is what the, the powder looks like again it's just so pretty it's almost like tiles on the floor and i'm going to swatch all of the four shades separate so you can kind of see what they would look like individually. So that's the four shades. So you've got a peach, a pink, a bronzy sort of shade and then a white. And hopefully you can see them there. So you've got your peach here. Such a bad place to swatch. I'll swatch them on the other hand, that would be more sensible. So you've got kind of a mauvey pinky bronze. I don't know if I've mixed that colour with... No, I think that is how that colour has come out. Yeah. So the first colour, which is this one up here, comes out more of a kind of a mauvey pink. And then your pink is a very light frosted pink, a peach and then a white. And that's what they look like individually. And then if you swatch them all together, which I've been really wanting to do, you get this colour here. So it kind of comes out like a very sort of pretty peachy coral shade, peachy pink, a peachy sort of pink. And I'm going to swatch it on this hand next to these two lipsticks. So that's what it looks like there. Yeah. So kind of like a very peachy pink. It's really really pretty. Now I've got highlight on today already but a little more can't hurt. You can never have too much highlight. Well you can but still. It's so pretty. It's a really nice colour. I mean I think that you could use, I've got like the Sigma Tapered Highlighter which is very small. Let me get it. bottom wouldn't you just guess but it's a quite a small brush so with this one you could definitely get in and just take you know that tiny little bit of white there and just take that or if you wanted to take just the peach I mean the peach and the mauve shade are probably the easiest to take out because obviously they're the larger two shades the smaller shades are the icy pink and the creamy well it's kind of like a it's like a white gold I think when you swatch it though, I think it just comes up more white. Although no, it is quite a goldy shade. I want to kind of see if I can show you that better. Yeah, I've swatched it there. It is kind of a goldy shade. It's almost like Sin from Urban Decay in fairness, but it's a little whiter. But it's really pretty. So if you've got a small highlighter brush, you could definitely go in there, especially one that's kind of tapered like this. You can literally get your tip in there. And you could actually use just that colour. But the, the powder is so pretty. I mean, I've swished it together there, which has kind of like ruined the edges slightly, which is why I didn't want to use it before I did the video. But I definitely will be using it. I'm not one of those girls who buys makeup and then, oh, I can't positively, you know, destroy the pattern on the top. No, makeup is to be used. That's why I buy makeups because I just love buying makeup and I love wearing it. So. And I look so white, but I'm not really. It's just I'm sitting in front of a bright window, so I apologise. But hopefully you have enjoyed this haul. I'm going to put Arrowhead on now, just so you can see what this one looks like on. So that's what Arrowhead looks like. Just a really nice, very soft peach. Kind of blending in with me today because of the makeup that I've got on, but... Yeah, I think it's really pretty. And I'm going to, just for curiosity, just to add a little bit of colour, I'm just going to take a little bit of hot chocolate on my finger. I 
So it's definitely one of those colours that you can add colour to or you could add it to another colour and definitely make another colour with it. But really pretty, I really like it. I know it's very fair uh, but I'm sitting in very bright light but it is a very nice, pretty, very neutral colour. And I don't have loads of these kinds of colour, particularly not in matte shades, matte shades, matte finishes. I've got lots of satins and cream machines but not a lot of matte kind of really pale shades like this. And I really like it. So that's it. That's it for my very short vibe tribe haul. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I do have another haul coming up with the pastel times nine and I've also got some of the new colour paint sticks. I can't remember if that's exactly what they're called but I've got some of those to share with you as well. So I will have another Mac haul coming up plus I've got some other little bits and pieces coming um, and I'm expecting some more packages. So please do keep tuned on my channel for more videos. I'm going to love and leave you and see you all soon. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. And please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye.